All right, guys, got a little deviation from the normal flight videos today. I want to talk a little bit about uh, uh, investing in metals, uh, gold and silver uh, to be specific. Um, I've never really tried to use this channel as a political platform, but, uh, you know, we got a lot of stuff going on in the world right now, and it's my personal opinion that a person should be stacking away a little bit for their uh uh, long-term health of their selves and their families uh, and the best way to do that in my personal opinion is through uh, precious metals now my personal philosophy is that if you have a long-term um, investing plan such as you're a young person and you're going to be looking at stacking away metals for 30 plus years uh, really gold is the best play that you're going to make uh, if you're a shorter term investor, such as 10 years and less, then I think silver is the best opportunity. Uh, silver has the best chances of getting a double. Uh, you know, the, just in 2011, uh, it was going for over $48 an ounce. Uh, currently, as of this taping, it's um, you know, high 20s. It's around $28 and change uh, right now. So it has uh, an actual history uh, of getting back to where it was in 2011, and a person could actually still pretty much double their uh, investment on it. Gold, however, has just recently hit all-time record highs. So while I think it's a safe long-term investment, uh, I don't see it getting the legs to get a double uh, um, return on your, on your uh, paper money that you spend on it. So the folks in between that time period, uh, let's say you're a 10 to 29 year uh, investor, uh, then I would recommend a combination of both metals. Uh, and probably uh, I would go with a 65% ratio of silver to a 35% ratio of gold. Uh, I think if you did that for the next 25 years or so, you, you could not go wrong. Uh, you'd definitely come out on top at the uh, end of that time. So I wanted to just cover a couple of small pieces to get started. First one, this one here is just an absolutely gorgeous coin. We can get it to focus here. There we go. This is the uh, John Wick coin, uh, but it's in silver rather than gold. And a good story on this one. There's two uh, metal investing YouTube channels out there that I really enjoy. One of them is... Uh, the uh, Silver Joker, and the other one is Silver 5150, and I'll put links to those in the bottom of the video notes here. Uh, the Silver Joker had recommended the channel Silver, one fi uh, Silver 5150, uh, which I wasn't familiar with, so I went and checked it out, and uh, watched one or two of the videos, and one of them he was given a uh, uh, doing a giveaway of for one of these one ounce rounds of the John Wick coin. And uh, so I went ahead and left a comment, and and lo and behold, I won the coin. So it came in uh, a couple days ago. So Silver 5150, I appreciate you uh, expediting this out to me and doing your giveaway. I really appreciate that. And one day I'll pay it forward as well. And Silver Joker, thank you uh, for re recommending Silver 150, uh, 5150 site so that I was able to learn of that. Yeah, it's a real nice looking coin. You can't find these any longer. Uh, last price that I seen them is going at around thirty-eight dollars. So they had a, uh, a fairly high premium on them uh, over the base metal cost. Um, so it's not one I plan on getting rid of. Uh, this will be uh, into the permanent stack. A couple others that I've added recently. Uh, if you look real close, this is the Thor coin. Get it to focus here. Come on, focus. All right, there we go. This is a one ounce uh, Thor coin. And uh, he's sitting up on his throne, threatening folks with his hammer. And on the back is the Valkyrie. Thought that was a real nice looking coin. It's kind of an antique brush look uh, to it. This is the, uh, the death coin, the Morto. Nice skeleton on the front of it. Momento mori, I guess, means remember all things end in death. And a nice uh, eagle on the 
reverse side of it. It's got the wise owl um, actually in the middle with eagle wings. Actually, I just misspoke. I said it was an eagle, but it's actually an owl, um, a crowned owl that looks like eagle wings, got arrows in its talons. But uh, again, I thought that was a real nice looking one. And then one that goes hand in hand with the uh, Thor series. This is Loki, the trickster. Get a focus going on this. This one is actually a five ounce uh, round. It's got Loki out there fo uh, floating up a koi fish out of the water. Little mischievous rascal that he is. And of course on the back is the Valkyrie on it as well. Lots of good detail on it. It's just beautiful coin. And then just for sample, I got a few pieces of gold down here. These are just standard uh, uh, quarter ounces. Get three of those and one tenth ouncer down there. Um, one day I'll dig out the metals from the safety deposit box and bring them over and and uh, give a, a spread out of everything. But. I do, again, I just mainly wanted to say thank you to uh, Silver Joker and Silver 5150 uh, for turning me on to this John Wick coin on the drawing. I was lucky enough to win that. And uh, so I will definitely enjoy this thing if I can get it to focus again. There we go. And one day I'll delve a little bit deeper. It's the lion on the front of it. Uh, one day I'll delve a little bit deeper into stacking and uh, why we should be looking forward to uh, uh, investing in metals. You know, right now uh, it's such a uh, tumultuous time in the America. We have uh, just record highs uh, unemployment, nothing that I've ever seen in my nearly 60 years of life. And uh, I just don't see a quick, speedy uh, recovery from this. So advice number one is get out of debt. Um, if you're heavy, heavy, heavy in debt, call your creditors, explain to them that you're having um, you know, financial difficulties through COVID and you want to do a settlement payouts. Uh, most of these uh, consumer-related uh, debts will settle for uh, 30 to 40% on the dollar, even if you had to take out a consolidated loan or something uh, to, to clear those off. And get them settled. Uh, yes, it will ding your credit for a couple of years, but that's what got you into the position of being in debt in the first place. Uh, once you're debt free, uh, then you really only need a couple thousand dollars a month of income, and uh, you can make that on a retirement check or just a simple, you know, fifteen dollar an hour uh, greeter at Walmart or something. You're not forced to be chasing that almighty dollar. So you definitely want to get. Uh, debt free first. Uh, once you get debt free, um, again, it's my personal opinion, I think you ought to be laying in a, a means to purify water, at least two different alternatives, uh, maybe a, a hand pump and a life straw or a hand pump and a, a, a big Berkey filter. But once you have two means to uh, filter water, and uh, you want to be able to filter at least 5,000 gallons uh, total, uh, nothing less than that would be uh, adequate. Uh, and then start laying in a 90-day supply of food. Once you hit the 90-day supply of food, then I would start buying some silver. And uh, best silver to buy, in my opinion, if you're just starting off, is going to be constitutional silver, which is uh, uh, dimes and quarters and half dollar pieces that were pre-1964. Uh, you can also buy dollar coins pre-1964, but I don't recommend those. They have uh, Most of them will have a premium just due to numismatic value as well. Uh, although you can find them occasionally in a really rough circulated condition where you can get them a little bit over um, the uh, halves and the uh, quarters and dimes. But, you know, if you if you needed a goal, I would say set up a goal of $100 face uh, value of uh, uh, dimes, quarters, and halves. Once you hit that, go to go to start working on 200. But it's basically you got to spread your resources out. So, number one, just to recap, get debt free. Number two, get a way to purify water. Number three, get you um, a, a supply of food stocked in. And uh, number four, as you're starting to stack your, your silver, 
uh, definitely be stacking some cash as well. Uh, uh, ultimate goal you should have uh, for yourself would be to have a six month supply of cash on hand uh, or in your safety deposit box to, to cover all of your expenses. Now I know a lot of people don't like safe deposit boxes and I personally don't like them either. However, uh, I would never keep all of my assets, cash and uh, precious metals in a single location. So I'm going to use one or two different safe deposit boxes, keep a small amount on hand just for emergency sake and uh, the rest of it will be uh, in various locations. Uh, and of course you need a way to protect your family and your assets. Uh, whether that be a firearm, if you're comfortable with that, if not, a baseball bat, uh, worst case scenario, some harsh words and uh, foul language. Uh, good luck trying to defend uh, your family using that method, though. Uh, I think that uh, uh, this nation was built on the fundamental belief of uh, firearm ownership. And as a, uh, if you're a family man uh, or a mom, uh, it's your responsibility to come home every night to your kids and to keep your uh, your your family safe. And there's no better equalizer uh, than a firearm. So that would be my advice: get a firearm and get training on how to use it. Now, people will say, "Oh, there's an ammo shortage. There's a firearm shortage." Uh, that's not true at all. L look around; um, you can find uh, a, a plethora of, of firearms at a local. Uh, academies and local uh, shoot smarts and shoot point blank and places like that. You're not going to get them on sale uh, typically at this, at this go round. And they do have some ammo. Uh, Academy gets ammunition every week. So be diligent and get in there early in the morning. Uh, our local one is uh, every Tuesday morning they get a shipment in. So just go every Tuesday morning and wait in line. Uh, you know, it's not like you need 10,000 rounds, uh, but you want a couple hundred rounds. Another way to get ammo is ask around to your friends. I'm sure you'll find uh, uh, quite a few of your buddies that uh, had the foresight to be stocking up on ammo back when it was available. And I'm sure if you talk nicely to them and explain your situation, they will uh, uh, give you 100 or 200 rounds to get you uh, familiarize yourself with your fire, but then you'll have a, uh, a basic loadout uh, for it as well. So at any rate, just, uh, I know it's, a, like I said, a deviation. I'm going to start doing more of these uh, uh, sideline videos, whether it be on metals, uh, gun reviews, knife reviews, uh, things of that nature. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the content, and we'll keep on going. So thanks for watching. And again, thank you, Silver Joker, and thank you, Silver, One, Silver 5150, uh, for the John Wick coin. I really appreciate it. It's a good, beautiful coin. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.